your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead, toasters, and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Also, share, share, share the content. That's very important. But hit that like button. When this video ends, go to a toasttothemen.com and check out what we have to offer. Toasters, I've been seeing quite frequently men on the internet, on IG, on TikTok, on YouTube, uh, I'm not on Facebook often, but on Facebook, men, grown men, butthurt and complaining about flying women out to remote destinations or exotic locations. And when they arrive there, the woman does not want to have relations, sexual relations. She does not want to give up the nookie. She does not want to give up the pink cookie. And these men are frustrated. They're finger pointing. They're calling these women shady and uh, deceptive. That may be true, but there has to be some accountability here, man. There has to be. And you got to recognize the results you're getting are directly related to what you're putting out there in the universe. Is directly related to how you are representing yourself. Brothers, a lot of us are trying to get to the reward, to the, to the, to the prize by taking shortcuts. And there is a shortcut to the nookie. There is a shortcut nowadays to get into the pink cookie. But what I'm talking about is respect. That's basically what these men are complaining about the lack of respect. And you can't take shortcuts to getting respect from a woman. You can't. See, most men think they could dangle this financial, this monetary carrot out in front of women and gain respect. No, no, man, you can't let money, you can't let something superficial be your primary representative. You can't. That, that is a byproduct. Money is a byproduct of Maybe just your good fortune or your intellect, your hard work, your discipline, uh, your decision making. That's a byproduct of your dedication, but it should not be your primary representative. No, your principles, your scruples should be your primary representative. A close second to that, your personality. Yeah, it should be. But. A lot of us brothers are leading with the money. We're leading with the money and we're expecting to be treated fairly. We're expected to be taken seriously by women. And it doesn't work like that. All she see you as is a come up, as a trick. As she should when you represent your way that yourself that way. You know, what women want most of all from us brothers is emotional stability because women's emotions can be everywhere their feelings can be everywhere their emotions can be everywhere and so although we both have men and women both have feminine and masculine energy the man has a lot of masculine energy and she wants that to stabilize her and so that's where emotional stability and, and uh, mental stability come from masculinity and if you can't provide that, she's not going to take you serious, right? So she can stabilize herself because she does have some masculine energy, but she's going to be off kilt. She's going to be off balance trying to stabilize herself. And she's going to lose some feminine energy when she does that. She wants to be able to just reside in her feminine self, her feminine energy, and you provide the masculine energy, the order you know, the stability of mental and emotional stability. Emotional stability comes from mental stability. She wants to get that from you so she can just be her feminine self and then her creative juices start to flow. But if you're not providing that, she's not going to take you serious. And that's how you should lead. That's That should be your representation. 
your primary representative is your principles, your scruples, your character. And that's going to show through your emotional stability, which comes from mental stability. But when you lead with something superficial, when you lead with money, dangling money, she's not going to take you serious. Like I said, she's going to see you as a trick and she's going to see what she can get without actually having to sleep with you. That's what she's going to do. There are no shortcuts to respect, fellas. There are no shortcuts. I just saw a movie heading or a movie title on Netflix. I didn't look at it. I just was flipping through and I saw a title. I can't remember the title, but I looked at the, the description of what the movie was about. And basically it said this woman hit hard times and she married this wealthy dude that she did not like. She married him for stability. She married him for, for financial stability. And she ended up falling in love with him. Now, I don't want to deal with the fall, end up falling in love with him. But you see what I'm saying? She married him for stability. Now, financial stability also uh, is a representation that you could be emotionally stable or mental stable, sta stable, not necessarily. But a lot of times, if you're responsible financially, not that you have a lot of money, because you've made a lot of money or earned a lot of money does not mean you're financially responsible. You know, that doesn't mean that. There's a, there's a lot of people that earn a lot of money who are not financially stable. And they're not emotionally or mentally stable. But when a man can show that he's financially stable, that's more than just making money. Financially stable, that says a lot about his emotions. That says a lot about his mental state. I was speaking to a young lady the other day. She was telling me about two of her nieces. Two of her nieces, man. She Now, this young lady I was talking to, she has a bunch of siblings. A bunch of siblings. But two of these nieces are from the same one brother. Uh, one of four brothers I think she has. Two of these nieces are with guys that they do not love. They're with guys that are not necessarily their type, but these brothers are financially stable. And that's why they're with them. And these two young ladies, their, their father told them, do not keep going on with these guys if you're not into them. Stop using them. But my point is stability. That's my point. Stability. That's what women want. Now, they may not be into these guys, man, like that, but there is a level of respect there. But you still got to watch out. <laughs> still got to watch out, fellas. But there is a level of respect there. And they're willing to give up the nookie. They're even willing to, you know, move in with these guys, live with these guys, cohabitate with these guys because there's stability there. So, uh, I'm thinking these guys are frugal with their money, very, you know, very stable mentally, emotionally. And so a woman is willing to cohabitate with you and do other things with you, even though she may not really be into you like that physically. Uh, I've seen that because most of all, like I said, man, they want that masculine energy uh, to take part in their lives, which is emotional stability and mental stability. And that'll get you financial stability. Uh, that's what they want, fellas. There are no shortcuts. So these men that these men that are butt hurt, that uh, you know, feel a way about women using them. That's what that's what you have to expect. There are no shortcuts, man. There's just not. You know, I believe a woman has to show she's worthy of me breaking bread with her. She's worthy of me spoiling her. She has to show that. That's just me, man. She has to show that she's worthy. That's always been me. Always, man. That's always been me since I was a teenager. I've never been a trick, ever. Have I spoiled women? Yes. But, you know, that was my woman, right? And she had shown that she had the qualities that deserve to be spoiled, deserve to be cherished. But there are no shortcuts, brother. 
there are no shortcuts to to uh getting respect and that's what these brothers are really complaining about it's not so much the money it's the disrespect they deem to be uh that now i will fly you out here i will spend all this money and you wouldn't give nothing up it's disrespectful that's how these brothers see it is so the issue remember the issue is really disrespect or the lack of respect that's what they're really griping about but hey man you played the game you took a shortcut i thought you were taking a shortcut and it didn't end up your way now on the flip side ladies there's some accountability on your part now things can happen to you when you play these games when you go out on these trips things can be taken from you that nookie that pink cookie it can be taken from you your life can be taken because most likely you're not dealing with a guy who's emotionally stable who's mentally stable if he's willing to do this and and he's just free flowing with the money sums off with this guy if this guy's willing to record you complaining uh, about you recording complaining about you and post it on social media something's wrong with this guy <laughs> something's wrong with this guy don't I mean don't be surprised if uh you know you, you wake up in, in 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 another dimension don't be surprised if you wake up in the hospital something's off with this guy so you know a, a man should have to earn that so he's worthy of that how do we show this how do we show this a woman should show that she's loyal wise nurturing that she's precious and when I say precious, that she stands out from the crowd. She doesn't mix with the crowd. She doesn't look like your average woman. She doesn't carry herself like the average woman. She shows herself to be a precious jewel. She stands out. There's something different about her. She stands out. Her presence, her energy stands out. What, 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 what should a man show that he's worthy? hardworking, protective, knowledgeable, provide security, stability. That's the exchange. So a woman should not lead with sex. She should not have that be her primary representation, a representative. A man should not lead with money. Those come with the territory. Those are byproducts. We're going to exchange those things righteously once we've both revealed these other qualities I named. But when you try to take shortcuts and get to the reward, get to the prize and negate the principal stuff, the stable stuff, bad things happen. Hey Amen. So watch out. Protect yourself. Represent yourself properly. That's all I can tell you, man. But you get, you attract, what you project. That goes to all toasters, men and women. You attract what you project, period. As always, toasters, from me to you, love, peace.